Now I'm just kind of taking almost like a chord melody solo with chords. Notice all the syncopation. See the idea there of to make it swing really hit those off beats the and I uh, use the um, the and of four especially anticipate the chord you know don't just play it right on beat one play on the and of four like this again I'll just kind of demonstrate one two three four and two three four and two three four and and I actually do this little click here I notice I do that quite a bit on four then I hit the and of four. And remember, this is a triplet feel. You don't want to even, you want it closer to the end of the beat. So it's one, two, three, and 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 and two, three. So I'm playing with the duration. And, you know, you can make it long, you can hold it short, um, you can add some eight more eighth notes. There's another rhythm I mentioned in there, and that's the Charleston rhythm. You hear me mention this quite a bit, but since this lesson um, is all about comping, so the Charleston rhythm is a dotted quarter and then eighth note. So it's one, and, one, two, and. So it's on the and. And you can actually put it on different parts of the beat, too. I'm just going to demonstrate it right now, starting right on beat one and then hitting the and, two. And that's more like a, definitely a swing style. It just, it swings so hard. You can still do fancy voicings if you want to. D minor.
a G. So again, a lot of syncopation. Hey guys, welcome to this little preview video here of my upcoming comping workshop. It's starting this coming Sunday. I just thought I'd continue on this little series that I started here last week from the poll that you all voted, you know, hey, focus on comping a little bit. So I was like, well, I'm just going to turn it to a full-blown workshop so I can really get into it a lot more in detail. So this little video right here that I'm uh, just demonstrating is a uh, three, four time a waltz, jazz waltz, or is it six, eight? What's the difference? You know, that's what I'm going to be discussing in the workshop. But right here, I was just playing this beautiful, cute tune. You all know it from the Charlie Brown Christmas uh, skating by Vince Guaraldi, one of my favorite CDs seasonally. Uh, I could listen to it all year. But it, uh, he takes this cool pattern, one, four, five. <laughs> know one four five but it's in three four time one and in three one and in three one and in three one and in three one I'm gonna make a full bone video from this one for this song um in the, in the near future I'm just using this as an example of a three four song that's kind of would be called a jazz waltz um instead of this feel one two three one two three one two three and that's more of a traditional three four waltz feel this is very bouncy, very syncopated, and very lively. So if that's new for you, and I'm doing it finger style, of course you can strum it if you wanted to, but I like it finger style. Let me show you this pattern, you're gonna have fun with it. And this is just a quick little mini lesson here. Uh, C69, C E A D G, one, three, six, nine, five very bossa nova or Django chord. And then here's a trick to get to the four chord really quickly. Just move these two down. And now that's F, A, D, G. There's no fifth, but it's the root third, six, nine, respectively. And then slide it up two frets. And yes, that's G, six, nine. And then back to the four, F. So it's in the key of C, one, four, five, but it really is about this cool comping pattern, okay? That's what I'm talking about. to come up with these patterns just like I'll also talk about 5-4 time you all know that song of course take five so I'm going to discuss that as well it's nice to come up with different rhythmic patterns and there are some that are more popular and commonly used than others many of you probably have played it and I'm just looking here at the fake book chart Just to fancy it up, what are the possibilities that we can do for three, four time? It's nice to have some variation. You could get funky. Where it's almost feeling like we're feeling it in 6 8. Listen to Jim Hall play this song. That's what I'm talking about. Or we could just go boom, chuck, chuck. So there's a lot of variations that we could do just within three, four time. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this quick little preview, I guess you could say, and mini lesson just on three, four jazz waltz, because we're going to be hitting this if you take the workshop. And also, of course, if you can't take the workshop, I will be doing excerpts, of course, and putting it on Patreon 
at the different tier levels because um, I want you all to have kind of the fundamentals of some of this comping stuff, but then the more advanced stuff or the extended videos will be at the higher tier levels. But right now I am offering a $99 special <laughs> um, on this workshop for the patrons, for you all. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this quick mini tutorial. We'll see you guys soon. Right here, two, three, four, and want to hit those ands. Just uh, anticipate. Here comes the last eight bars. And one, two, three. Uh, uh, that's Charleston. A minor. Charleston is always great for a swing. But this is kind of more piano style comping versus Freddie Green. Also do the off beats. And, 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 three, four. Some cliches. You'll hear me do those little chromatic cliches a lot. One and, one and, one and, one and. And I just have this looped right now on my iReal Pro app. It's a little bit busier. And always know where you're at. F major, F minor. We're in the key of C, the standard key for all of me. And there I'm doing some side slipping, half step below. But I'm still trying to break it up a little bit. This is still more piano style comedy. E7, A minor, a little cliche. Leave some space, the staccato. You could use grip shapes, basic shapes, nines, maybe flat nine here. And yeah, now I'm also talking about not just rhythm chords. Again, I'm, I'm imagining 
a soloist or a vocalist in my head. So, you know, basically, take my lips, da da ba, I want to lose them, da da da, da da da, take my arms, I'll never use them. case you know play along setting uh, I've got the iReal Pro backing track here on my phone I've got it at a hundred let's see where's that camera at. 100 and it's just on kind of uh, infinite it's on 30 times and I have it hooked into my uh, Alexa here you, know, you just push play I, I I go to the EQ and then I turn down the piano so there's no piano uh, I just play with the bass and drums I have it at medium swing if you guys don't have this app by the way you have to download the iReal Pro app. It's, uh, I think, $15. Great app for Android and for iPhone or, you know, Mac, Apple. Um, and I have it again. I'm going to speed it up just another same tune. I'm just going to speed it up a little bit here. Of course, you can do a Latin, swing, whatever. I'm just going to be demonstrating more in the swing style of me anymore. But you can see the idea there of to make it swing, really hit those off beats, the and. I uh, use the, um, the and of four especially, anticipate the chord. You know, don't just play it right on beat one. Play on the and of four like this. Again, I'll just kind of demonstrate one, two, three, four, and, two, three, four, and, two, three, four, and. And I actually do this little click here. I notice I do that quite a bit on four. Then I hit the and of four. And remember, this is a triplet feel. You don't want it even. You want it closer to the end of the beat. So it's one, two, three, and 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 and two, three. So I'm playing with the duration. And you know, you can make it long. You can hold it short. Um, you can add some eight more eighth notes. There's another rhythm I mentioned in there, and that's the Charleston rhythm. You hear me mention this quite a bit, but since this lesson um, is all about comping, so the Charleston rhythm is a dotted quarter and then eighth note. So it's one, and, one, two, and. So it's on the and. And you can actually put it on different parts of the beat, too. I'm just going to demonstrate it right now, starting right on beat one and then hitting the and two. And that's more like a, definitely a swing style. It just, it swings so hard. You can still do fancy voicings if you want to. D minor. hitting those punctuations and being like a, a horn section essentially. Eight or seven. I'm just gonna demonstrate the two note shape, but here's it. I 
all the syncopation. So thank you guys for um, <laughs> requesting this topic and this poll here. I'm going to do this all month. Each week I'll make a new video and I'll just kind of demonstrate a few things. Try to hear like an, a voice or an instrument that you're comping. Comping means accompaniment. So you're comping behind, you know, the singer or the instrument. And two, three, and, and those are the anticipations. That's what I'm talking about. I started to do some other rhythms, a lot of uh, syncopation. Then I started to add some quarter note triplets. Again, I like I like it really organic. I want to I want to improvise off of the soloists. I don't I'm not necessarily like take one pattern. It's good to be able to take those two rhythms, the Charleston rhythm or just the anticipation, and take it through the whole song. Of course, you got to know your chords and know your progression too. So, and then just like even the quarter note, you know, just doing that. The, the Freddie Green style or the early swing style, kind of like Le Pump for Gypsy Jazz, you know, that's a good place to start with. But today what I'm demonstrating here is, you know, having fun with the song to where you're hardly ever repeating yourself. You're kind of improvising while comping, okay? That's it for now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.